Do you know what's actually floating in your blood right now? Cholesterol. But what if I told you not all cholesterol is created equal? So the first one is LDL, low density lipoprotein. It delivers the cholesterol to your tissue, but when it's too much, traffic jam. It comes from red meat, processed food, fatty food, and baked goods. Second one is HDL, high density lipoprotein, which is the good guy. It picks up the excess calorie from the tissue and bring it back to the liver. Okay. It comes from fatty fish like salmon, nuts, avocado, chia seed, flax seed, olive oil. Third one, triglycerides, which is fat in the blood, used for energy and stored in the fat cell. They come from excess calories, especially carbohydrates, sugary drinks, alcohol, refined carbs, and then like oh, which is going to be stored as fat. So, simple analogy. LDL is delivery trucks. HDL is garbage truck. Okay. And the game changer, which is the ApoB. ApoB or apolipoprotein B is indicator of how sticky and how atherogenic is your cholesterol. Meaning, how likely it is to cause plaque buildup in your artery. You can have normal LDL, but if your ApoB is high, you're still in trouble. So imagine two people if with the same LDL value. One has higher ApoB and the other one has lower ApoB. The one with the higher ApoB has higher risk of cardiovascular disease. And another one is LPA, which is lipoprotein A. Lipoprotein A is genetically inherited. It is not affected by your lifestyle and hugely underdiagnosed. It is increased your risk for clotting and atherogenesis and atherosclerosis, which is also plaque buildup. You can change your gene, but you can know them. So you know what to do. Okay? So you're not helpless. Knowledge equals power. This isn't about fear. This is about knowing the full picture so you can live longer and stronger. Like this video, subscribe, and share the knowledge with your loved one. I'm Dr. Ming from One Health Medical Care. Stay healthy, stay informed.